Hey friends, in this video, we will see how we can set the password on endpoint security, which is going to be managed by McAfee EPO server. For password configuration, you need to just click on menu and click on system tree. Once you clicked on the system tree, so you are just uh, getting the details of all subgroups which are created under, under system tree. So currently I'm going to select operation team subgroups because I will just assign the password protection policy on this subgroup and click on assigned policies and drop down the product list because password protection is the part of endpoint security common. Once I click on the endpoint security common, I mean selected the endpoint security common, so I can see uh, a default policy which is assigned on operation team. Because I'm going to making the changes in the default uh, uh, policy, so I'm just clicking on this, but if you have multiple subgroups and if you have multiple policies uh, for the product, I, uh, just like endpoint security and other product, so you can change the, you can change and you can make the changes in that policy uh, after selecting product endpoint security common. I'm just going to click on my default. Once I click over here, so I can see there is in a tab show advanced and you need to just click on that and uh, this is client interface mode. By default, every user having full control to making the changes on the endpoint security. But because you are just going to prevent such kind of activity for the client users, so you need to select lock client interface and enter the password. So once you enter this password and policy will get applied on the client machine. So if any user will try to access the endpoint security on their machine, so it will prompt the password. We will see how this will prompt the password and how we will enter the uh, password which we have assigned over here. And after entering the password, you need to or you can click on this option because this is really helpful. If user is concurrently trying to access the endpoint security with, uh, with the invalid password, so it will just uh, lock out the endpoint security protection product on the client machine. And uh, these all are the supportive features of and, uh, f for client interface lockout. Currently, I'm just leaving it with, uh, with default value. And even you can also select uninstallation password over here. So if any user with admin rights uh, is trying to uninstall the product on the client machine, so it will prompt the password during uninstallation of the uh, endpoint security product. I'm just selecting this one and entering the password. After validating of password, we can see it is just saying that, okay, now you can move it. There are some difference between a client interface mode, password and uninstallation. It is not necessary like you, you will enter same password uh, for client interface mode and uninstallation. You can uh, set the different password for both options over here. After entering the password, you need to click on save options. After saving of the policy, go on the system. Because I have only one machine over here, I am just going to select this machine and clicking on the wake up agents. So it will force complete policy and task update. Once I click on here and clicking on OK. So once wake up, wake up of agent will be uh, 
uh, will be uh, will be entered triggered on the client machine so the policy will be also applied on the machine we will see on the client machines how it is working now i exist on the client machines and i will see the product from here and uh, we'll see how the wake up agent is working on the client machine i am just clicking on check new policies so it will update the policy i'm just verifying that the policy has applied or not i am clicking on the agent option see this is working fine because uh, it is prompting the password it means if i am entering the pa wrong password something like this so it is saying incorrect now i can see uh, i have entered in my endpoint security because i have entered correct details over here so this is the way to securing your endpoint security on client machines from the e policy orchestrator with configuring of password protection in e policy orchestrator thank you for watching this video we will see uh, some new options or some new features in the mcafee endpoint security from the e policy orchestrator as well as also on the client machines thank you